We all grow and learn in our lives, and I've learned that all kinds of people can get AIDS, even children. But it's the disease that's frightening, not the people who have it. You can't catch AIDS from hugging someone. I'm not asking you to send money. I'm asking for something more important. Your understanding. Maybe it's time we all learn something new. Well, I walk upon the river like it's easier than land. Evil's in my pocket and your will is in my hand. Oh, your will is... If I'm dying from anything, I'm dying from the fact that not enough rich, white, heterosexual men have gotten AIDS for anybody to give a shit. Now, <laughs> Love is old from what I've heard, but my heart's learned to kill. Oh, mine has learned to kill. Oh, I said I could rise from the harness of our gold. Play! 40 million infected people is a fucking play! Just let them go. Oh. It's about personal freedom and uh, this, the right to self-determine who you're going to be and how you're going to express that without anybody else putting any caveats on that. President Clinton is urging Congress to expand a federal hate crimes law following the beating death of a gay student in Wyoming. Matthew Shepard died at a Colorado hospital yesterday after he was brutally attacked last week. I said, no, my savior in the sea. It is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. In my country and in, in, in my family, I think that I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there, but that's how I was raised and that's how I think that it should be between a man and a woman. Defense of Marriage Act, which for federal law defined marriage as the union of one man, one woman, only denied all federal benefits to gay couples that has been ruled unconstitutional. <laughs> follow the momentous Supreme Court rulings on gay marriage. Same-sex couples will once again be able to marry in California. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has declared war on homosexuals. So far, the world has mostly been silent. Boy Scouts of America is the last large organization in the country to still ban gays, but after a vote today, come January, that will change. The streets of heaven are too crowded with angels. We know their names. They number a thousand for each one of the red ribbons that we wear here tonight. They finally rest in the warm embrace of the gracious creator of us all. A healing embrace that cools their fevers, that clears their skin, and allows their eyes to see the simple, self-evident, common sense truth that is made manifest by the benevolent creator of us all and was written down on paper by wise men, tolerant men, in the city of Philadelphia 200 years ago. God bless you all. God have mercy on us all, and God bless America.